welcome to Motorhead Garage. Well, folks, you know, rust is the bane of any car, especially an old car like this. Now, here at Motorhead Garage, we got different ways you can deal with it, but one of the ways we like is to contain it. Sam, show them what we're talking about. You know, that's really an easy thing to do. And to help us out, we got Jim Kroilak here from KBS Coatings. Jim, tell us how this system works. Well, Sam, it's a three-step system. The KBS in, in, in the name stands for Clean Blast Seal. Mm -hmm. First, you use our clean water-based cleaner degreaser to remove any greases and oils and contaminants that'll, that'll hinder adhesion of your, your paint, whether it's our paint or someone else's paint. The next step would be blast. It's a mild phosphorus acid and zinc coating that'll dissolve the rust on the surface, etch the steel to give it a good anchor pattern for the paint to grip well to, mm -hmm. leaves a little zinc phosphate coating to give you additional rust protection under the paint. You rinse all that off, you let it dry real well, and then it's two coats of the rust seal. And you know, you buy a kit like this, the uh, frame coated kit, you get all the products you need, you get the gloves, and believe me, you need the gloves. Let's take a look at the differential here. Here's a rusty differential, and basically the process here was take a wire brush, knock off the heavy stuff. Yep, get the little scaly stuff off. Degrease it, which is the clean, blast it, which gives it the etch, leaves the uh, zinc back behind, and then coat it. Now this was done in two stages, a gray and a black, it's a gloss black. But the interesting thing is, this is put on with a brush. That's all brushed in, yep. Looks like it's been sprayed. Absolutely. You can spray it if you want to spray it. Right. So Quart like that will do a full-size car or truck frame, a couple of coats, or 50 square feet if you're doing a firewall or floors. The only thing you don't want to do is get it on your hands, wear your gloves, and of course, it comes in different colors too. you got all different colors of this thing. We've got 10 different colors. We've got a gloss black, which you see here. We've got a satin black to emulate like an OEM finish on a GM car. Uh, we've got Caterpillar yellow, we've got red, blue, green, white. Tell you what, let's go to work. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to this front of the Chevelle and we're going to go ahead and set up and we're going to clean it, blast it, and we're going to coat it. Show you how to encapsulate rust to stop it in its track. Sounds good. Get your gloves on there, buddy. Got my gloves. Now in the kit, you're going to get some brushes, you get a little stirring stick, and you go get the can, you want to stir it up. Now, what we did here was, in this cross member, we've already taken two of the steps, which is the cleaning degrees. Yeah, we cleaned and degreased it with the KBS clean, get all the contaminants off. Then we rinsed that off, let it dry, and then we edged it with the rust blast. Now, this product here is pretty thin. Like I said, you get a lot out of one of these quart cans. You can actually put two coats on a complete chassis, is that right? Two thin coats. Now, what you normally would do is take this product pour it into another container and work out of it. When you go to cover it back up, put a piece of plastic wrap over it, put your cover back on, because if you don't, you'll never get the cover off it. And again, we're just gonna put this on with a brush, and thin coats is the way to go, right? Just nice thin coats. You don't want it running, dripping everywhere. Just nice thin covering coats. What's interesting is you put this stuff on with a brush, and it flows out, it looks like porcelain. So this is cured with the humidity, is that right? Yeah, it's a moisture cured urethane product. The more humid it is, the faster it dries in. If you're in a real humid day, you're gonna have to work a little quicker. Yeah. And of course, you know, you wanna keep the dust down and so on, keep the bugs out of it. But this is now a nice, clean etched surface. How about a surface like this? We could go right over that. Sure, you can go over that. As long as it's clean to grease, all the loose, flaky stuff's off, sure. We did that for sure. Okay, let's go right on this and see what it looks like. This, is, this stops the air and the moisture from getting at the rust, so that pretty much stops it, is that correct? Yeah, you gotta think of rust as like a plant you got in the house. You stop watering it, you start giving it oxygen, the plant dies. Rust is the same way. Cool. How tough is this stuff compared to, like, say, a powder coating? Well, it's a tough, durable coating. We've got two coats of it on just these exhaust pipes, and we just bang away at them. You can see, they dented and it didn't crack. No, there's no cracking, chipping. Flexes with the steel. All right, so what we're doing here is this is going to encapsulate the rust on this chassis, and when it flows out, it's going to look great, because you don't want to work it too much, get it on there, get a thin coat. What do you do for inside a chassis? On the inside, we've got a new product here called Cavity Coater. Mm -hmm. It's a aerosol product. It comes in bulk also if you got a, a shuts gun with the proper attachment, you could do it that way. But with this, it's an aerosol product. It's got a 36 inch long wand mm -hmm. with a 360 degree tip on the end of it. Awesome, so you put it up inside? Put it inside, any of your open holes you got in your, in your box frame, your A post, B post, rocker panels, anything, and you just spray it as you're pulling it out. We usually tell guys, spray it about a foot a second as you're pulling it out inside there. It coats the inside, it displaces moisture inside the 
The frame attaches itself to the steel, so you don't have to worry about it rusting from the inside out. It's a great way to go for protecting the inside of a chassis, because there's just basically no way you can do it without that. Right. Okay, so we're going to continue on, coat the whole front of this thing. Of course, this car's really gone. We'll see you next time here at Motorhead Garage. We hope you learned something. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it. Thanks, Sam.